Hello class and welcome back to our third unit on Darwinism and Social Darwinism. As I think about it now, this isn't perhaps the best title for this lecture, but it's the one I already wrote down and it's the one I'm already going with, so that's the way it's going to work. If you got any, uh, got any ideas uh, to improve the title of this, feel free to shoot me a message or mention it in your uh, discussion boards. So this is the introduction video. Right now, by this point, you've already gone through this slide, this slide, this slide, and you're on this slide. But as you can see, the video is not here yet because I'm recording it. Uh, this will discuss some very sensitive topics, but they are very important. Uh, as you go through, I don't know if you'll be um, cognizant as to how they all fit together. It is going to be somewhat awkward, uh, mainly because I am kind of pulling this out of different lectures I have created in the past, uh, mainly two lectures that I did uh, for a class, History 339, on the Progressive Era in the United States, 18, uh, about 1890 to 1945, 1950. And you can see here, this was one of the earlier lectures where we discussed uh, the early 20th century, late 19th, early 20th century, and uh, over here where we discussed race uh, in the United States during the course of the 19-teens, 20s, and early 1930s. A lot of topics I'm going to use for this particular lecture will center on the United States, but I will all also point out that they do apply to Great Britain, the Germanic states, France, pretty much all of Western Europe. And I'll note that as I go along. But a lot of examples I have, because I'm taking it from these two slides, will come from the United States. But that does not mean that they're any less applicable to what we're talking about here uh, it, during this lecture. I also want to point out that, as I mentioned uh, a few moments ago, this lecture is going to be a little bit uncomfortable. It's going to be uncomfortable not only because it's awkwardly pulling a few things together uh, regarding American history and just further projecting that out on the rest of the Western world, specifically the European world. But we're going to discuss some pretty tough things to listen to. Uh, we won't get in, we won't really won't get into anything as um, cringy as this until we get to our section on crimes against humanity. We will discuss wars and and violence. But I feel like as a uh, as a people, we're more comfortable with war and violence than we are with some of the things that we're going to talk about today, uh, which will be racism. There is underlying sexism, although that won't be quite as apparent. But if you think about it, it really won't take it doesn't take a genius to link those together. Uh, ethnic disparities uh, and uh, kind of um, ways to address these problems and properly uh, structure society to reflect these views of race, ethnicity, and superiority. So this is not going to be an easy lecture to get through for some of you. Most of us, I think, will be fine, but if you do have any problems, remember this lecture doesn't have to be knocked out in one sitting. Feel free to take a break as many times as you want and continue. It is imperative, though, that you do continue this lecture and do absorb as much as you can because it is very important uh, as we proceed through the rest of the semester. Because as you can see by what was in our outline, we are going to talk about the global impact of some of this uh, material that we've talked about today. And you can see down here near the bottom, uh, our 15th term, <clears throat> or should I say terms, is imperialism and colonialism. And you look at the title of the unit next week and you will see that we will be discussing the rise of Western imperialism in the world. While not every single thing we discuss here will be playing an active role in that, you will see the connections between the material we discuss today and the material we're going to discuss next week. So just keep that in mind. So therefore, let us begin this lecture. As always, please copy the outline, or at least copy the terms and the questions. Meditate on those questions. Meditate on those terms. I also want to point out that although you see a lot of terms here on the side, I will not be discussing all of them uh, directly. The two videos that we have from Crash Course this week are excellent. They are from the Crash Course uh, Science Collection. 
And the gentleman who hosts those, I actually don't know what his name is. He's not, uh, it's not John Green. The gentleman that hosts those videos will actually discuss Darwin, natural selection. He will discuss some eugenics. He will discuss social Darwinism and people like Herbert Spencer. Uh, I will emphasize the things I feel will be important for us as we move forward. Uh, but those videos are very important. So be, be sure you watch those. In fact, watch those before you proceed with the rest of this lecture. So you're on slide, whatever slide this is. This is the next one. Before we move to this next slide on phrenology, please watch those, both of those crash course videos, and then we will continue with our lecture. Thank you and good luck.